Well, you must have thought before about winning Wimbledon. How different was it to actually win it? What was the first thing that went through your mind? Yeah, I mean, it's obviously a bit different when you're, you're, you're thinking about it or dreaming about it or trying to, you know, envisage winning it. Um, it's, yeah, I mean, it's a whole different thing when you actually get to do it. And, um, yeah, it's just a huge sort of release of, of tension and pressure and emotions. It was, uh, yeah, it was, it was a tough day yesterday. Andy, th I, this, this is the, the Everest of British sports. You've climbed it, you're standing on top of the world. Will anything in your career, do you think, ever be more important and bigger than this? No, I don't think so. Um, I said, you know, the other day that winning Wimbledon is, you know, it's the pinnacle of, it's the pinnacle of our, our sport. Um, you know, this place has so much history. You just look at the names of the, you know, the people that have won here and, yeah, it won't, uh, won't get bigger than this. I mean, you know, I'll, I'll try and I'll try and win another one if I can in the rest of my career. But you know, if I, if I, I don't think even if I did, it would be it would be better than this one. Um, Andy, you must be pretty tired today. How did you celebrate? Last time you actually won the U.S. Open, you drank champagne on the flight home and then got drunk, and I think brushed your teeth with face cream. Was it the same this time? Uh, yesterday was very busy. We had all the press afterwards, and then we went to the champions' uh, dinner, which finished at around two o'clock. So I'm going to go out this evening with uh, my team and my friends and family. We'll go out for dinner and uh, celebrate a bit. Uh, celebrate a bit tonight. I'm sure they'll try and get some some alcohol down me, but I'll try and stay <laughs> away from it if I can. Oh, yeah, I believe you. Honestly, we believe that you're going to try and stay away from it. Andy, that sounds yeah. like a lot of fun. I'm sure it's going to be a great party. Look, just talking of what happens next, what does happen next? How, how do you deal with what is now a completely different ballpark for you? You've won the US Open. Fantastic. But as you've now said, you, you've won Wimbledon. This is a whole different footing. From your career's point of view, we've just been talking to a branding guy. He says this could be worth 50 million pounds to you, 75 million dollars. Does the money matter, though? I mean, it's, it's a tough question to answer. When, when I'm on the court, you know, I was unbelievably nervous yesterday, um, and I was unbelievably nervous at the end of the match. And the reason for that is because you're trying to win Wimbledon, and you want to be, you know, part of, you know, a historical event or an occasion. That's what makes me unbelievably nervous. But yeah, I mean, you know, I'll obviously, you know, as sportsmen, you know, we get paid a lot of money, probably too much. Um, well, definitely too much, but. You know, we we have a short career, and you know, try and maximise um, maximise it as best as you can. Yeah. Will any of that money maybe be invested in your hotel in Scotland, Andy? So, sorry. Will any of the money be invested in the hotel in Scotland? In, in your you hotel in Scotland? Yeah. What are you going to do with it? We just want to. You know, we're curious. What, do you have any plans? Have you not thought about it yet? Yeah, the, I mean it's uh, it's opening hopefully in April, uh, April the first um, next year. So no, I mean all of the, it's, it, I mean it's all pretty much ready to go. All of the costs and everything are pretty much set. So um, I'll invest the money in, in something else, not the not the hotel.